In this video, I'll talk about a couple of commonly asked questions in job interviews and what the interviewer could be evaluating your answers for. Hi there, VA Doni here and I'm back with another video for all freelancers and aspiring freelance virtual assistants in the Philippines. If you're new here, well, welcome! My name is Doni. I've been a virtual assistant for 17 years now. This channel is created so I can help aspiring virtual assistants jumpstart their freelancing careers and ensure that it becomes a sustainable source of income for every Filipino family. Job questions are not asked in interviews just for the sake of conducting an interview. There are abilities, skills, or traits being evaluated from answers to questions they throw out because the resume or the cover letter cannot prove or validate those abilities. So, let's talk about what these possible abilities or traits that hiring managers or recruiters are assessing you for in an interview and what could be the possible questions being used to ask applicants to help with assessment. Let's talk about the first one, character. A typical written document will not give the full idea of how the applicant presents him or herself with other people. Having a face-to-face -face physical interaction or for virtual assistant aspirants, one-on-one -on -one Zoom or Google Meet interaction can help hiring managers Evaluate how your attitude would probably look like, how well you carry yourself, how confident you are, and also your level of interest and excitement towards the job role you're applying for. Here is a common question asked in interviews that gives hiring managers or interviewers a quick hint of this traits. Tell me about yourself. This has been a widely discussed question or request where applicants would ask tips on what the best answer will be or how to answer it. Here's my share of tips to aspiring virtual assistants. As you are preparing or gathering your thoughts together, either as a script that you want to use or simply just so you have a guide think of the following that you must be able to manifest in your answers to this question first one is attitude second is composure the third one is the interest and the fourth one is excitement start by listing or keeping in mind what the job responsibilities are in the job role you're applying for. Then try to think of a real situation where your attitude and behavior that can be relevant for the job can be highlighted. For example, you found this important job responsibility and it says like, set appointments and manage my calendar. So here is a possible answer when you're asked to tell the interviewer about yourself. I love movies. It's my pastime activity. I am a mom of four, four teenage kids. It's a pretty hard job being a full-time mom, especially if you're hands-on. But I love the challenge of organizing my daily activities and having to schedule a block of time for errands, for chores, and also still find time for myself. So I'm glad my partner will be working from home starting next week, and I will have an extra hand to manage my household. 
I have decided to support my family's financial needs. So I have decided to apply for this job opportunity and I'm so excited because uh, this is the type of job role I am so interested in because this is something I love doing. So that is a simple example. When you answer, make sure you maintain composure use appropriate hand gestures, say it with enthusiasm. That example of an answer shows that the applicant is an organized person and has a natural skill for planning and can work under pressure, which are great traits if a VA would need to manage a calendar and set or book appointments. So the second ability that hiring managers or recruiters would normally gauge in an interview is the spoken communication skill. This is another common ability being assessed by interviewers in all interview questions. So the moment you are given the chance to speak, the following are being observed. First one is your speaking voice. Second is your intonation. And the third one is your pronunciation. And the fourth one, they would normally observe how spontaneous or how, com how comfortable you are with the English language. Here are some example or some tips to score high in this criteria. Practice English in your daily activities. Develop the language to come out naturally in you. This will not develop overnight, but if you expose yourself more to using the English language, the faster you can get comfortable speaking the language, and the more spontaneous it will come out from you. So relax and be yourself. Don't stress too much about your English. Just use simple English words. What is relevant is you are able to express your answer confidently. Another common ability that an interviewer could be assessing you for when you answer a certain question is your technical skill. It depends on the job requirement you're applying for. It could be as simple as how to use a certain online tool for a typical general VA or Amazon VA to a more complicated coding language for web programmers. So here's a common interview question that helps hiring managers assess the level of technical mastery and experience depending on the job requirements. What was your specific role and responsibilities on the most recent project you worked on? Here's how you can come up with an answer to that question. This can apply to an applicant with or without experience. For those with prior experience in using, say, a particular tool mentioned in the job description, you don't just say I am like good or proficient in using whatever tool or application, but try elaborating by answering these guide questions. What were your tasks in relation to using that particular tool or platform? What were the KPIs or what were your targets, if any, and elaborate how you met your targets and KPIs. Why was it necessary to carry out that particular assignment or responsibility in the first place, if you know that? What are the specific steps you took in using the tool or, or the platform to accomplish that task? For aspiring virtual assistants, here is a simple example of an answer to that question. For instance, the job description mentions a need to be familiar with the use of Google Sheets. You can say something like, like this. One recent project I recall doing was finding potential customers for my client. I believe it was one of the effective marketing activities of the business at a minimal cost. I needed to reach out to at least 20 qualified prospects every day. I was expected to have at least one prospect to convert as a paying customer every week. 
I used LinkedIn to find leads, made, I made sure I used the appropriate filters to target the prospects I needed to message. I wrote a simple message request note, kept in mind not to sound too salesly, and I used Google Sheets to organize my search results and which served as my tracker. I had to have a column for a date, uh, the date when I started to message the customer, the name of course, the LinkedIn link, uh, the status, and prospect or lead, and also the, the date when I last messaged that client. I liked using Google Sheets to organize my search rather than Google Docs because it's easier to store the data. I could use Microsoft Excel, but I thought the Google Sheets was better so I can share it with the team. I'm so glad that with that particular task, I was actually able to exceed the expected number of converted prospects and I had contributed to, uh, in a month, I contributed at least 10 new customers during that time. So there you go. That's a good example of an answer to that specific technical question. I hope you learned something from my video today. Do ace that interview and good luck in your future freelancing career.